Hi everyone. Now's the time to build your landfill. It's going to be a landfill like a, a smaller version of a landfill that you might see in Columbus or some other locale. Well, print off your lab and when you take a look at your laboratory, see the list of items that you need. You need the large plastic container that came in your kit. You need your balance. You also need pH strips and possibly your ruler that came out of the dissecting kit. The other thing that you're going to need is some garden soil. Go out in your backyard, go someplace and find some um, garden soil. Your beaker, the 500 milliliter beaker, the large one, grass seed. And I think I said pH paper, but you need that. And then everything else here you see on the table are things that you may collect on a daily basis. It's garbage, right? Not necessarily trash, but it's definitely garbage. What you're going to be doing is you're going to take all of these items and you're going to weigh these items and record their masses on this table. Table two is the waste material masses. As you can see, I've listed some of the items that I have here on this table. Now, you'll also note that, oh boy, I went into the second page, and you'll also note that you may have to write on the back. When you get ready to compile this particular lab, you can make as many little lines as you want to. So, weigh everything. Once you've got everything weighed, now it comes time for assembling your landfill. Now, got garden soil. Let's take some garden soil and you're actually going to measure how much garden soil you're going to use. You can use a trowel or you can just go ahead and just put it in there. Put some of this, maybe break up some of the bigger pieces. Kind of line the bottom. Now you're just going to start putting your stuff in. It doesn't matter how you put your stuff in. Um, aluminum foil. You might, this is probably too big of a piece, so let's like cut this in half. Let's crumple it up, give it some more edges. We've got some Q-tips, three of them. I'm just going to throw those in there. I've also got some nuts and bolts. And let's kind of just throw them in there. I also have a little plastic card. Let's cut that in half. Because I don't think I need the whole thing. Throw it in there crayon, some pencil. Now I broke that in half too, so it might fit a little easier. I've got a battery, a double A, or, double, or excuse me, a triple A battery, some rubber band. Now remember, you've weighed all these and you've measured them. Again, you used your little ruler in order to measure their length. Some paper. Now you're going to see I've got some paper, a uh, little bit of color, a little bit of black and white. Just throw it in there. Um, a little bit of wax paper that came off my donut this morning. And then I have a lid. Now this lid is sharp. Let's hold off on putting this in the landfill for right now. I've got a muffin paper. Now what I'm going to do now, because it looks pretty full, is I'm going to actually put some more garden soil in, because I kind of want to layer this. Now keep track of the number of beaker, beaker full of, what, of garden soil that you use. So let's kind of cover that up. Doesn't have to be perfect. Cotton balls. My dryer lint. I was doing laundry this weekend and I thought I'd bring that along. Piece of bread. This happens to be multi-grain bread. I'm not going to use the whole thing. It's too big. So I'm just going to use a small piece. Let's put a couple pieces in there. Remember though, you're measuring these before you're putting them in. An Oreo cookie. Apple core, a little piece of apple, some apple peel, four little mini carrots, and I actually got a couple pieces of mint with the paper. You might want to put one in without paper and leave one with paper just to see what happens. Remember, you're building this landfill. Let's go ahead and put some more dirt on it. Cover it up. Well, let's 
put a little bit more in. So, so far I put three beakers in. About three and a half beakers. Again, you're gonna measure your soil. Again, we're just showing you how to assemble it. Had some ham from last night's dinner. I cut it up in small pieces. If you get a little bone or something, like a pork chop bone or a steak bone, you might wanna put that in there. Two pieces of cucumber. Four chunks of cheese. An eggshell. Some twigs. My landfill's getting pretty full here. Some parsley. A little bit of paper towel. I'm gonna kind of break that up and just maybe some smaller pieces. I had an old terry cloth towel and I'm gonna break that up into something a little bit smaller. Let's put some more soil on all this. Remember to measure. Oh, I'll stick that down in there. Now let's put some plant material on top. And these happen to be leaves from a wild cherry tree. And then I also have some oak leaves that I'm going to put in here. I'm not going to put the whole thing in. Okay. Oh, some dryer sheets. Let's just do one dryer sheet. I'm just going to kind of poke that down in there. Let's add some more soil. Again, don't forget to measure. Write down your numbers. Now, you want to cover this landfill completely up, all the materials in your landfill, but you want to kind of leave a space at the top. Because you're going to be adding water, and you don't want it to don't want the water to like overflow. If you're concerned, you might want to put your landfill on a cookie sheet or something such as that so it doesn't... Let's put just a little bit more. Okay. Next thing you're going to want to do is saturate it. Just use tap water. And you really want to saturate it. Again, measure the water. And tap water is fine. After you do that, a little packet of grass seed. Let's plant some grass on top and let's see if we can get anything to grow on our landfill. Remember, we put some things in here that might have been toxic. So just put grass seed on top of it, use all of it. And you should also measure the grass seed too. I forgot to tell you that. In fact, you're going to find out in, in the science laboratory, you're going to measure everything, or you're going to measure and weigh everything. So follow the directions. Okay, now that you have your landfill done, what you're going to do is kind of put it in a warm, sunny location. And you're just going to let it go for about nine weeks. But that's not quite true, because in one week, we're going to check and take a look at and do some measurements on this.